All right, so before I get into these replays here, I just want to say this is just an example of how you can deal with Leo White Fang as Leo White Fang. So um, this isn't like a, oh, hey, looking at this gameplay, I should be able to do that with my character type thing. No, everybody's going to have to do their own stuff differently, but this is just an example of things you can do. Hopefully, the, as as the mirror match goes on, you might be able to look at it and go, okay, I might be able to actually do something against this, or I might be able to stop this before, or if I predict that Leo might pull this move off in front of me, I can stop it. That's really what this video is. So if you play a Soul Kai, uh, Ramathal, I, I, I couldn't tell you, I, I've only fought Leo uh, with like Kai and I think mainly with Kai. So I, I really don't know all of the different things you could do as as Kai. So this is just a Leo mirror match. I just need to get that out the way. Let me get into this. I'm going to go back through it again and pause a lot and explain what's going on um, if you didn't catch it the first time. So let, let's go into this. Okay, so um, I'm going to go through this match here, uh, both of them, and just talk about what's going on and the different stuff I'm doing in the match, the different stuff the opponent's doing here, and just kind of break down what the thought process if you're fighting Leo and also if you um, are Leo yourself and you don't know how to fucking deal with them yourself. I, I've been through, I, I've been there, I get it. All right, so I, I, I have the display of everything off. There's too much all over the screen, so I'm just going to break it down step by step here. So first, we both had the best idea right here. We just backed the fuck up because all of his, his slash, especially his heavy slash. Don't be fooled. His heavy slash goes way farther than you think it does. So those of you that like the mash buttons all the way across the screen, thinking no one's going to hit you, he will, okay? So be careful. All right. In the very beginning, he already started off. That is a good thing to do in the beginning, to, to check your opponent. 
use his projectile often not too often um i don't think it's like it used to be in, in xr you can you can actually hit him while it's coming out like while he's doing that right there that face he's making you can actually hit him while while the animation's going through the projectile should have already come out but if you hit him while he's doing his projectile animation you will counter him and it will disappear it'll go right through you the projectile will phase out like it never happened um i think it used to trade depending on the move i, I think it still does but <laughs> it, it was pretty i think it was stronger in xr if i remember correctly so i'm already jumping with fd like i'm already jumping over anything i sometimes do that depending on the character i'm fighting sometimes i feel like i need to jump and use fd to like stop my momentum and also protect myself in case they start mashing out a button in front of me see i'm already landing but bam punch and then i back up sometimes i go straight into a punch and then i'll dash uh when they recover from the punch and go for a throw because it's just that good in this game and see that already punched him again like i'm the first thing as leo what you want to do in some characters like milia and other like zato and shit if you feel like they're not going to press anything yet if they're near you if you have an opportunity press punch as soon as you can try to keep them out of the air as much as you can. mash punch as you're landing like sometimes that works all right and we've already hit the next point here random ass dps all right leo is just gonna randomly dp whenever the fuck he feels like i figured i should do that that punch i did earlier i you can't go backwards for some fucking reason if i could that punch i did was intentional when i punch people down into the ground especially if it's leo the leo player will feel threatened if you stop them from advancing at least twice okay at least twice so the first thing you want to do is block when you land on the ground because you feel like you, you you can sense a dp coming or you can try to run and th uh, throw it but uh, you don't want to the distance i'm at i would have probably got hit so let's keep going already got the throw into stance nope stopped it i pressed the button just now all right so there we go when Leo, you know, some people already know this because I've gotten I've gotten punished for this. Using his slash and heavy slash, like alternating between the two slowly, usually is a sign that at the last possible moment they're gonna go for uh Zwight. So be be careful. You might get hit. Just try your best to react and throw it like I just did here. Alright, overhead, overhead. I missed it. But they went for a DP again. I used Yellow Roman Cancel. They used it too. I backdashed. I backdashed. That, I, I can tell you right now, that was pure just instinct and I was just reacting to them doing that. Because if I've learned anything about Yellow Roman Cancel, that shit is fucked. You can throw people right after that, especially if they're really close. That was my phone going off just now. Um, And basically, Yellow Roman Cancel stops everything. Stops everybody. Like... If you're in the middle of pressing a move, of course, it stops you. It, like, pushes you back for a second to get you off the opponent. But you can go for a throw right after that shit. It is... It's so fast. If you're if you're doing that, if you're fighting the Giovanna, and Giovanna does that shit, for example, you're, there's no way. You got thrown. Like, I, that shit is hard as fuck to see. Her dash is really fast. I'm just using that as an example of how actually dangerous Yellow Roman Cancel is. That's why I backdashed, because I could sense they were coming in for a move, which they did. All right, here we go. They're going to start pressure here, and they're going to go for, I think, a run through here. See that? They delayed that last move, and I was ready. Throw into stance. And I got too close. Don't ever get too close in stance. If you dash twice at somebody, they will mash throw. They will mash throw right in front of you. If you press kick, you will get thrown. It's still, like, because in this game, for some reason, you can grab entire moves coming, clearly hitting you as you're, you know... You, you could be ready for a move um, coming at you, like a throw or something, and somebody will still throw the whole move that you clearly threw out in front of them, and you just get punished. I have used Leo's um, back turn kick, and I have gotten thrown because somebody was mashing throw and, on their wake up, so be careful with that. If he's too close, you're going to get thrown. It's just like an XR. That, that did happen, too. So... And they already started off with that. Be careful. Um, 
I don't know why I'm even giving away this tech right here, but I might as well. If you use this move right here at a distance, you could actually faint somebody into thinking, oh, I could hit him now because he whiffed. No, 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 no. At the last second, if he goes in the stance, he can use shield and he will fucking parry you. Be careful, please. Don't, don't, don't fall for this. I've done it. I've done it several times. Like, they think you're safe? Parry. Right into super. Sometimes killing them, depending on how much health they have. So, there we go. They went right in the stance. And did you see that just now? I wish I could slow it down because it happened way too fast. But in that moment right there, I dashed right at them because I predicted they're going to do it again or they're going to go for a command grab. Yes, you can punch. I think you can punch the command grab, Leo's command grab, and you can also throw it because I do it earlier. I do it later, I mean. Here we go. I'm going to let it play for a little bit. Stance, overhead. Okay, that's just one round. Let's keep it going. All right, here we go. Throw, throw that, overhead, cancel stance, low move. Low move again, okay, right there. They're trying to pressure me, go for it, throw. Overhead, I just got a hit just now, got lucky with that, I could have blocked it. All right, here we go. So, Leo, this is what makes him even scarier because of the new Roman cancel system. You can Roman cancel in the middle of that just like you could in, in XR. It's not, in, it's not any different. But imagine, just real quick, imagine if Leo backwards Roman canceled into another move, like into a projectile. You can do that shit. I haven't done it myself yet. In theory, you could <laughs> purple Roman cancel forward, backwards, up, down, right? And use a move. That is scary as fuck, especially if this big ass dude is running at you, okay? Be careful. You can do shit like I just did. I, I could have been a little faster with canceling the frames and turning it into a full throw, like, faster, but I, I, I just wanted to slow him down to see what was going to happen. I, I just went for it. So, here we go. Let's keep it going. Overhead. Low. High. Yep. Yep. That, that right there was an accident. I remember I, I mistimed my combo there, and I just went for a punch just in case to keep them still. I didn't think they weren't going to block or anything. I, I don't know what they clicked there. All right. I don't know why I started off with that. I couldn't tell you. I'm not sure why I started off with that. Maybe in my head, I was thinking, hey, Maybe they'll throw out a full move or they'll run forward. Nah, I, obviously, I was wrong. So, let's keep it going. And see that? I already got fucked up. I threw that out and I didn't expect that. Because they saw me with that move and they were like, he might not be ready for this. Like, Yeah, I wasn't ready. I wasn't ready for that either. I didn't expect it. But now I'm ready. Now that I know they're going to do that shit, pay attention to this. Here comes that... Big ass overhead. Boom. Boom. They get me a few times. Okay, there we go. I threw him. Boom. There we go. Pressure. Back backwards. Okay, the thing about Leo, if you're if you are Leo and you use a <laughs> what you could do, Leo, instead of parrying, he used to be able to parry burst. You can't do that anymore. They they eliminated that option. Um, it was hype as fuck though. Uh, in this game it would be <laughs> be terrible if you could do that. Um, Instead, though, it's even worse because what you can do now is get even more damage if you actually backdash. If you're pressuring somebody and they get hit a few times, if you predict when they're going to burst, especially in the corner, backdash out of stance. Uh, backdash um, in your stance, in his uh, back turn. If you time it right when somebody's going to burst, you will dodge the burst and you just dash right back in and continue attacking them as they're recovering from burst. You'll just get a full combo. It's fucked up. But he can still bait burst in his back turn and, and technically punish them, but not just with the parry itself. He can get even more damage now. <laughs> I don't know. I, I don't, he's just like this. I'm sorry. So here we go. I'm, I'm already pressuring him again. I have him. There he goes. He burst it. He burst right there. And Leo can do that. He can actually use his projectile in the Roman cancel. Um, maybe you've seen this before in like XR videos. I don't know how many XR videos there are of him actually doing this, but you could knock somebody down with uh, 2D, 2 dust, 
you know, his little uh, kick move. Knock somebody down, charge his heavy projectile, Purple Roman cancel backwards or forwards, run through them with Zwite, and then suddenly they're getting hit in the front and in the back with pressure, 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 pressure. They don't know what the fuck to do. The trick is to block low until you see a high in the middle of that happening, but it's so much going on. Um, a lot of Leo's back turn, you can actually just block that going low until the high happens, right? But when that projectile is out, I even I get fucking messed up. I'm like, yo, I don't know what the fuck's going on. They could go for a damn command grab at the end of this shit. I might, I might get hit. Oh, I got hit. Look, you know what I mean? Th there's no way. Try to avoid getting in that situation when Leo has any meter to, to burn at all costs. Like, just try to. You might get put in that situation anyway, but let me just keep it going. There we go. Combo off of that. Boom. In the corner. Went for the pressure. He threw me. Good shit. Overhead. There it is. Right there. Because you can hear it. And he does a little slight pause. I'm actually staring at this Leo player the whole time. Like I'm not paying attention. Sometimes I look at my own character, but I'm looking at I'm looking at him because I have to pay attention to when Leo does that slight pause. And he also the, the sound turns on that little that that's run at him, throw him if you can. I think you can punch him too. Like I think I said that earlier. You can punch him too, but you gotta be really fast. Your best bet is to jump. But if he does have meter when he does this, he could Roman cancel and instant, instantly jump up and try to grab you. So you got to be ready. You got to kind of guess what Leo might do in that situation based off of where he is, what meter he has. You got to pay attention to that stuff. Let me let me keep it going. Here we go. Pressure, pressure overhead. There it is. And that's it. Um, yeah. That's one round. Not ready for it. I was ready for it. There it is. See? Boom. Overhead. Overhead. Sometimes what you want to do... I'm going to pause again. Sorry. Um, what you want to do sometimes with Leo... I do this. I, I'll be right over in the other side of the screen. A little bit farther. And I'll use a move as I'm approaching. I'll use kick as I'm approaching. Just to keep... Either Leo or other characters that like to run on the that have to stay mobile on the ground, like Soul too. If you use that, that's actually terrifying. If you're sitting there in front of your opponent, mashing down on kick, be careful. The, for the opponent, for the, the opponent has to be careful because you, if you're using like Vortex as Soul, you know you know how you could kick certain characters like uh, Soul and Eno out of their shit. You could kick people. Leo, Leo is fucking insane. You could, that kick. It's a lot farther than it looks, okay? It is a lot farther than it fucking looks. Um, and yeah, that just be careful of that kick. It's very dangerous, along with his slash and his uh, punch in stance. You can get a, a good ass counter off of that, and oh man, it is, it is insane. Let me just keep it going. See that? I stopped. There it is. Overhead. And I stopped right there. Got him with that. I mean, burst in itself is kind of lame in this game because, like, look how high up it leaves you. Like, you, I, I hate that. I hate that so much. They burst. You'll use it in the middle of certain moves, but because you're so high up in the air sometimes, you'll just... You're floating. And, and you're floating in the burst, like, kill me now state. Like, I, I hate that. So, anyway. Boom. Combo, stance it up. Anybody got hit by that. I know I got hit. And just then, I threw that out just in case they were going to move forward. But the, And they did. It, sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. But that's just in case. So yeah, these were just two example replays. Um, I just wanted to make the video just so people could see how Leo could deal with Leo. Or just in general have an idea of what to do against Leo because I know how oppressive his shit is. I, I, I know. I've been playing as this guy for so damn long that I, I get hit by dumb shit that he does mid-match too. So I get it. It's fucking frustrating as all hell. Um, 
So yeah, hopefully you'll be able to look at this video and go like, okay, maybe I can do this with my character. You know, that's what this is for. So yeah, leave a like, comment down below, uh, tell me what you thought about the video, was it helpful? Anything that you have, like anti-Leo tips, feel free, man. Like, because I know there's a lot of people that do not know how to deal with his shit and I, understandable, he's, he's insane. He's actually insane. So, <laughs> uh, yeah, anything you can type down below in the comments that, that, to help other people, go ahead. And um, that's it. I'll see you later. Peace.